It's leave now hey, or it'll be too late. Give me a, give me a oh. Whichever one, whichever house Homelander goes to, that's going to be the worst case scenario. Janine, honey, daddy's going to take us on a sleepover. Can you help mommy pack your toys? Maybe we're running late. We don't have time to pack toys. Gotta go. Three votes to go. <laughs> and the BA guy said that the Pentagon is shelling out 35 billion on the low end. Hey, do you remember that marketing girl? Ashley? Um, I'm sorry. I, I had to fire her. She. No, no. Seven, eight years ago. Oh, is he gonna own up to it? Becca. Yes. Becca Butcher. That's it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, her. What about her? Well, she's missing. <laughs> what do you mean, missing? I mean missing, as in missing, presumed, dead. Wow. Yeah. Mm. I looked at her file, and the cops think it was suicide. Mm. <sighs> Seems her husband, well, he got pretty riled up. William Butcher. Am I supposed to know his name? No. Not specifically, but... I was just wondering if you knew what happened to her. No, I just assumed she quit. Quit? Is there... any particular reason why you are asking all of these questions? No, no, I'm just... curious. It's... Curious as to whether he will kill Madeline because she knows too much. Yeah, it's definitely sad. I could get Maria to stay late with the Oh, baby. God. Is the baby his by any chance, actually? Maybe he's the father of the baby then. What? That sounds amazing. But you go be mom. She knows something's wrong because why would he ever give up the chance to be with her alone? That's how she knows something's wrong. You like roller coasters? I'm more of a water park guy. Cedar Point's got both. Oh god. Can't you last one day? You first. Oh, she's gonna blackmail him, isn't she? I know exactly what she's doing. I gotta see it, please. I don't. I don't look like everyone else. That's what I'm counting on. Do I? I do. Do I want to see this? I probably don't. Of course I don't. <laughs> Ooh. Are they gills? Look at those gills. They are gills. Can we just uh, ah, be gentle? Be gentle. Oh, it's tender. Oh, God. Stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, Come stop, on, stop. It's just my pinky. No, I said it hurt. I think maybe you should go. I'm not going anywhere, you little fucking freak. Knew it. Lay back. She's assaulting him because of what he did. Lay back. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh yeah, you like that? Ow. Oh, you little oh. fucking freak. Oh. oh. Are you like getting your fucking gills finger? Ow. Oh god. Ow. Oh. Ow, ow. Oh. Well, he's getting the comeuppance, I suppose. He sticks something down her throat, she's sticking something in, well, his breathing apparatus. Gross. In all honesty, you should hide in the women's toilet. You're less likely to be found. Having a good growler, are we? Mm. A little bug on you. Back of that shit hole of yours. What did you expect me to do? It was a Homelander! Ooh. You gotta talk to me. So it's not. Wait, wait. It can get visions no. just from any touch of the skin. I can help you. 
he can help him find his wife. Say a name. Your wife? Is she missing? I can help you find her. He believe me, he can. Oh, head back. Please, I have a daughter. No. <gasps> oh. Oh my God. Well, you clearly chose Homelander over your daughter. Yeah, she could have helped you find her as well. Don't want none, fuck off. I'm here about your wife. I believe this was a few days after you met Homelander at that Christmas party. She was alone with him for three hours. Not long after that, Rebecca went missing and has remained so ever since. One way or another, Mr. Butcher, I believe Homelander was involved. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't believe what they get up to. Who the fuck are you? <gasps> oh, this is Mallory! My name is Mallory. Yes! I'm the person who can get you payback. Former boss Mallory. But would it kill you to make me one of those? <laughs> you know, I had someone once. We were gonna get away, start a family. So what happened? Homelander. Everyone always asks, what's our special weakness? Gamma rays, <laughs> iron daggers, some ridiculous, stupid thing. The truth is, our weakness is the same as anyone's. Emotion? It's people. Mm -hmm. The people we care about. So I say, cut them loose. For your good and for theirs. That way you're really bulletproof. <laughs> the fish counter. He's gonna save the lobster. What's up, man? How'd you end up here? Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> me too. What's that? Oh. Wait. Kicking your head about that. It's really not that big of a deal. Let me get you out of here. Just hang tight. Can I take one of these lobsters back with me? You got it. Thanks. Spending all of his money on a lobster. Oh, wait, no, 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 not that one. This one. Yeah, that's my guy. Wait, 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 no, no, no. Wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> what did you expect? They're not going to give it to you live, are they? <laughs> For a second, I did think they were going to do that, though. Mr. Campbell. Who? Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. Billy Butcher. Oh, Hugh Campbell. <laughs> You've got a hell of a lead there. Well, yeah. You don't worry. What's your name, sweetheart? You can call me Uncle Billy. He ain't your uncle, honey. He ain't nothing to you. Monique. <laughs> What's she doing? It's okay. Does the Oriental girl not talk? Uh, Asian. <laughs> like Asian. No, I don't think she does. Dad, I'm really sorry. I'm sorry about everything. No, no, no. Don't say sorry. No. I, look at you. 
Standing up for yourself. Jinx. Do only want it all along. This is going to be Mallory's family all over again, only this time it's going to be my family, and if something happens to them, Butcher. I sympathize with him. Who is this? Dr. Vogelbaum. Is that Billy That's Butcher's right. dad? Oh no! I drop in on you. One of the people that experimented on Homelander as a baby. Well, how long has it been, John? <laughs> long enough that no one calls me John anymore. John Homelander, that's his name. Unofficial. I try not to get too attached to my subjects. <laughs> so, you ever uh, catch up with any of the old gang from Vought? <laughs> Look, do you mind if we don't do this? Do what? This cat and mouse bullshit. What do you want? You want to know about Rebecca Butcher? You went to Stillwell about her because you knew that it'd tip over the first domino. So just ask. I'll be honest. Well, that would be a first. Eight years ago, Stillwell called me with quite an interesting challenge. It's Rebecca Butcher. Rebecca Butcher had come to her with a completely unprecedented medical condition. She did know about what it. What condition? Pregnant? <gasps> no. She was pregnant with your child. Oh my God! Pregnant. So she's in. She's in hiding. She's still alive then, with the baby. I thought uh, I couldn't. He's no longer so a baby. A child. Apparently, nature is tenacious. <laughs> the fetus was developing unnaturally fast. We told her we'd deliver the baby safely at a secure location. Couldn't tell anyone. Not even her husband. You can imagine the size of the potential scandal. Oh my god, it's, it's like an alien! Oh! Well, she definitely dies then. <laughs> the birth was difficult. Oh my god, tell me that. The baby clawed its way out of her. The blood loss. No one could have survived. She died on the table. And the baby? Lived all of ten seconds. Drowned in its mother's blood. Why didn't you tell me? To protect you. That's always job one at Vought, isn't it? Protect our most profitable asset. So why are you telling me now? When I raise subjects without their mothers, they become violent, aggressive, downright hateful. You should have been raised in a home with a family who loved you, not in a cold lab with doctors. And yet, I turned out great. <laughs> no, you did not. I think what it's done to you, and what you can now do to everyone else. I'm sorry. I don't want your fucking apology. What do you want? What? What do you want? Forgiveness? Now? After you raise me like a fucking lab rat? I'm the world's greatest superhero. You're my greatest failure. Hmm. He got back up. Easy From the FBI? Easy. Yeah. There we go. I'm in. Deputy Director. The family's gonna be okay, you have my word. Thank you. Come here, baby. Oh. Daddy loves you, okay? You're gonna be safe with mommy. All right. All right. No Homelander. No Homelander. We had a deal. Everyone else is fair game. You gave it to Huey. Do you want this or not? And he pulled it away. Or do you, do you actually have more? You do. I'm sorry, I'm afraid I'm not following. You and the corporation are fucked. Unequivocally, unilaterally fucked. For the last half century, 
You have been feeding the American people the line that your superheroes are chosen by God. Mm-hmm. I mean, I get it. Jamming illegal drugs into babies' arms. I mean, that doesn't quite have the same ring. And that's not even the worst. What did you do to this one and why? I've never seen her in my entire life. Uh -huh. What do you want? For starters, there are no superheroes in the U.S. Armed Forces. The bill's already gone down to the floor. They're gonna vote on it any day now. And you're pulling it. And we're gonna go back to status quo where we're the government and the military and you're just assholes running around in your capes. And if we refuse? Everything goes public. Corruption story of the century. Fought shares go to zero. The civil suits, criminal prosecution, and you go bankrupt in your cute little suit goes to a lovely shade of orange for 15 to 30. You do realise Homelander's probably watching through the wall. And why did you bring the entirety of that compound V with you? You should have taken half and put the other half somewhere else. Fuck. Tell me what the you heavily blackmailed. You're going to die now. About 12 minutes ago, Navy SEALs took out Abu Rassam, about 50 miles outside of Damascus. Right, as planned. So what's the problem? Homelander did something. Watch. What the fuck does that say? Nakib. Hey! Freeze, motherfucker! Okay. No! One of the supervillains that she helped create, that Madeline and Vought have helped create. So the supervillains are actually to hold the FBI now to hostage. Everyone's got something up their sleeve. The keep means captain. We believe it's his soup name. Are you telling me they have a soup terrorist? So where they met is where it's going to end. Annie, I... Did you kill Translucent? It's, it's not that simple. And you haven't been using me to get back at A-Train? No, you haven't. You actually haven't. Not really. I'm taking you in. No, Annie, hold on! To the cops! At least they'll treat you better than the Seven Just would. listen to me. Listen to me, okay? I know this is so fucked. You were the only thing, Huey. You were the only thing that I could count. I'm still me, Annie, please. You know me. I don't know you. Compound V. It's this drug. It, um... It gives the soups their powers. I will do anything to cover it up. No. Annie. Annie. <laughs> oh! What are you doing? What are you doing? Butcher, what the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck away from her! No! What are you doing? Stop him! What the fuck were you thinking coming here? I didn't ask for your help. Yeah, it looked like you had it all under control. Now she's gonna think that you wanted her dead, and she's gonna go fucking crazy batshit on you. <laughs> uh, okay. So, what can I say about this episode? This was the most tense episode, I think. Much, much more tense. Shit really is starting to hit the fan. Now all the boys are in hiding because Homelander and the other suits know who they are. The Deep is in hiding also and he got a taste of his own medicine. He got Gil raped by that woman's hand. Um, and he's still in hiding, doesn't know all the shit that's happening right now. Homelander's gone back to his roots. Back to the scientists who experimented on him as a baby, who gave him his powers, who brought him up in a cold, cold, heartless facility, which he does not forgive that scientist for. And the scientist has now said that he's Homeland is his biggest failure because he didn't give him a family to grow up like a normal child. So Starlight found out about Huey and she obviously wanted answers. She didn't want to fully believe it. But by the end... You have him basically admitting it and didn't say anything when she asked about his involvement in spying on her. So she now believes it to be true. And since Billy Butcher shot her a couple of times and he's ran off with Butcher after Butcher told him to leave her alone, she's now going to think that Huey's involved in her shooting and wants her dead along with the other soups. So she's going to become 
angry and bitter and it might turn her into a sort of homelander figure she's going to be filled with revenge revengeful revengeful i can't even say it, vengeful thoughts that's what it seems anyway so mesmer is alive or was alive for a short period before he got his face smashed in by butcher um but in a way he brought it on himself he should have known that when they told him you know don't turn your back on us we'll help you if you help us and he went completely against them and these people are dangerous so you know either homeland would have eventually found out and killed mesmer or butcher was going to kill mesmer it was, it was going to happen anyway but mesmer could have possibly helped him i don't see the you know don't see the point in doing that really and this it's really gone crazy now. I've got one more episode left. Butch is now in public shooting soups. It's going to be obviously some sort of superhero battle at some point, I'm sure. It is really going crazy. The FBI have now been cornered. Everyone is blackmailing everyone and everyone brings something to the fight. Huey brought Compound V and, of course, the female to the fight against A-Train where he had his leg broken and now we're never be able to run properly again unless there's some sort of miraculous healing drug he can use. And Madeline lied to Homelander saying she knows nothing about Butcher's wife. Um, Butcher's wife was pregnant with Homelander's baby and the baby was obviously mutant of some sort that clawed its way out of her. They both died. So now we know the truth about Butcher's wife, but he obviously thinks that she was raped. She might have been raped and she got pregnant, but we don't know if she was for certain or whether it's consensual. All we've got is the camera evidence of her leaving and her entering and that's it. Either way, he is partially responsible. He's the one that got pregnant in the first place. Um, but Madeline knew about that. And now Homelander knows Madeline knew he's going to get really angry. And like I was saying, he doesn't like her baby. And I'm worried that he's going to do something to her baby. And that would be not very nice, obviously. Uh, and Madeline. So she is being fucked over by the FBI. But because she's created some super villains as well, some mutant terrorists... She's got one over on them as well by attacking their armed forces with the terrorists. So Voight has now become, along with Madeline, a terrorist organisation. So the suits belong to a terrorist organisation and it's only going to get worse. I can't see it getting better. Everyone else is in hiding. Huey's dad, um, Mother's Milk's wife and daughter. So it's all to play for. Obviously, you've got, they've got to protect their families because... The first people that the soups are going to come after really are probably going to be their families. That's the easiest way to hurt them and to entice them out of their hiding. Anyway, I don't know what else to say. It's a lot has happened and a lot will happen in the next episode. So I cannot wait to watch the episode. I'm going to watch it tonight, hopefully, and then get it all over and done with this series. So yeah, make sure you like and subscribe and also ring the notification bell if you want any information on other videos I'm reacting to, other TV shows, film reviews, and maybe some trailer reactions which will come in soon. Anyway, thank you again, and I'll see you on the final episode.